but now is the tough time because you've got fans' questions. <laughs> and these, these have been vetted a little bit. There was hundreds, hundreds. Right, okay. And these are the four we've gone with. So Rich Johnson, Rich, thank you for getting involved. Uh, why do you still insist on Thursday night games? None of the fans want them, and I'm pretty sure none of the other clubs do either. Well, I would say that uh, fans who want to watch Super League uh, in their living rooms or down the pub yeah. do actually like Thursday, Thursday nights. nights. Yeah. So we should make that distinction. I know that's not what Richard was, not it? Richard yeah. was asking. Um, because ultimately, um, Thursday night works for Sky. Yeah. Sky deliver good ratings on Thursday nights. And I think, as everybody knows, by a long way, Sky are our most important partner, yeah. our biggest partner and the partner we need to keep happy because whether we like it or not, our future is going to be very tightly linked to our relationship with Sky, that's for sure. Yeah, so absolutely. we have to uh, accept the fact that if they work for our primary partner and then in all likelihood they're here to stay and if they're here to stay, let's make the best of it rather than yeah. uh, constantly looking for, uh, uh, to, to criticise it, I guess. Now, you know, I, I don't dismiss the challenges of the M62, you know, driving out of Hall as I did last week to go all the way back to Manchester with three yeah. closures on the M62 oh. with an anticipated the arrival worst. home time at three o'clock in the morning the is not is not good. Ever. Is not good, but um, but they do work for Sky. Yeah. On to Gary Greenarch, who says, "How difficult is it to get 12 teams to agree anything for the betterment of the game when they all have their own selfish agenda?" <laughs> Gary, great question. Uh, Gary, great question. Um, is it challenging? Yeah, and I have to say, probably, uh, you know, 12, 15 months into the job, that's probably been the most challenging yeah. thing we have to deal with. Because, you know, Gary's absolutely right that when we have our Super League meetings, which happen, you know, on a monthly basis, we need clubs to turn up and take their club hats off and put their Super League hats on. Yeah. And that doesn't always happen. But if we are going to make some big and radical change yep. to the sport, which is what we need, then um, sometimes that can be a barrier and that's up to you know, good leadership from me, that's up yep. to me uh, driving uh, that majority and presenting information that's so strong, so compelling that clubs get behind it. Um, but governance of the game and how we make those decisions is, is a challenge, not unique to Rugby League, not unique to Super League. but. Um, uh, but it's something we have to work with and doesn't always uh, run smooth. Um, Lorraine Atkinson Clayton, would he ever consider changing the name from Super League back to Rugby League? As I feel less and less people know what Rugby League is, netball, hockey and table tennis, and I'm pretty sure there's others that have the title Super League. It's a, it's a very, no, listen, again, a very good question. And, um, and it's part of the branding process we're going through. Yep. And there is a feeling that we've lost Super League to the wider world. Yep. Um, you know, ultimately we play Rugby League, clearly. Yep. Our competition, and that's a distinction, the competition is Super League, yep. we play Rugby League. And maybe we just have to be tighter in how we, and when we use that. You know, we're talking about the game we play when we yep. use that, we're talking about the competition we use that. Um, I'm, I'm probably rambling a bit here, but it is very much on our agenda and it's something we're considering. Fantastic. Last one, Chris Heath. When will next year's Magic Weekend dates and venues be announced? People are already planning holidays for 2020 and if the event it will be losing fans that would otherwise be going. No, we're, and, and that's a very good, again, a good question and a very fair demand. Yeah. And what we've said is we'll make the announcement before the end of this month, so before the end of September. Yeah. But there's some real competition for, uh, for hosting the event. Oh, wow. Uh, from Newcastle and Liverpool, who are both really, really keen to get their hands on it. You know, yep. and I know you're a Spurs fan, Alex. We yep. did have a run at that amazing stadium oh, in Tottenham. It's the best. Uh, the, the price tag was slightly eye-watering. <laughs> so we are looking all the time. So, you know, yeah. fans should know that we are looking to go yeah. to London. We're looking at alternatives. Uh, but there is a commitment to announcing something uh, by the end of this month.